All right, we have started. I will start Already. with the planes, and then I'll pass to you. Okay. Play a treetop and pass. Okay. Uh, Brushland. I'll take one. Go to 19. Play uh, Enchantress. Ooh. And then, if that's good, I'll pass with five cards. It's so good. <laughs> On tap. Draw. Play a Forest. Play a Wall of Roots. Yeah. And pass to you. Enchantress will not be I attacking have... you. Six in hand. Okay. I'll take one. Go to 18. Play a wild growth trigger. Okay. Hmm. I don't think this is really where I want it to be. Um, it's out of white and a green. And. Play Elephant's Grass and Trigger. Okay. Yep. So I have a light floating. Hmm. Let's think about this. I'll use uh, the white floating for inline tutor. Sounds good. Hmm. I think I'll just get a get a seal of cleansing and then I'll pass the turn to you. Okay. Play another forest. Play a blasto. Yeah. Take my pills and then pass to you. All right. Uh, elephant grass. So I'll let it go. I'll draw the seal of cleansing. I'll take another one. Go to 17. I'll play another wild growth. And trigger. Yep. Tap three. Play Enchantress. And I'll use the last green floating to play Elephant Grass. Double trigger. Word. Yep. My quest to find land. Um, <laughs> All right, we have a windswept heath, which will, nice. I think, just sit there aimlessly. Or just so kind of not yet. Um, let's see. Four. Actually, I'll crack. I'm going to 16. Aimless no more. Yeah. It's been interesting. This is my um, first month playing with Enchantress, and it is definitely a very complicated deck. I have made many mistakes, but it's been fun. But it's hard. I, I really want to build it, but the Enchantress itself is very expensive. I got the Enchantresses pretty cheap because I got them in Japanese, um, so they're actually yeah. cheaper, but the Sanctums were definitely harder. But they were also cheaper in Japanese too, which is kind of nice. Huh. I'll play another Elf and Grass and Trigger. So much grass, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to pass with six cards in hand. You've got, you got a little grow operation over there with... Uh, <laughs> Lots of wild growth and grass. And grass. Wild yeah. Growth. <laughs> yep. Brushland. Um, okay, good, thing. good? Yeah, I'm good. I have six cards in hand. Okay, cool. All righty. Ready. I'll play a swamp. Yeah. 
I was wondering if there's going to be black in this deck if it was just mono green. <laughs> you better believe it. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. I'll play a deed. Yeah, there it is. And I'll blow up deed for two. Yeah. This one while it lasted. And I'll swing for five. Yeah, I'm going to let him. I pass to you. Uh, let's see. Play a presence. Um, it's funny. I have a play set of Femrif Enchantress. Oh, uh, those ones also kind of spiked randomly, right? Is that yeah, a like, Mirage one or whatever? Yeah, one of those sets. Like 20 bucks a piece. Um, I will pass to you. Already. Play Cobb. Yeah. Uh, swing. Yeah, I'll go to six. Take one. Play Hermit. Yeah, it's good. And I'll pass to you. I'll draw. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I need to look something up real quick. I already had a small sequencing error. But... Three. Two. Okay. I think I have to do it this way. I'll play Sterling Grove. Um, yep. Draw. Hmm. And I'll take one, go to five. No, nah, you got this one. Okay. I was lucky to avoid pernicious deed all this entire time, and here it is to, to finish the month just straight from whereby, like nothing special. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is... This is fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to put back. Let's try this. All right, I'll start. Sounds good. I'll play a forest and then I'll pass. pass. Okay. Play a swamp and duress. Yeah. The uh, opalescence, elephant grass, sterling grove, the plains, and the brushland. Let's get rid of the sterling grove. Okay. And pass to you. Play a wild growth, and then I'll pass. Okay. 
play another swamp. Yeah. I'll dress you again. Okay. Let's get rid of the elephant grass. And all therapy opalescence. Okay. I pass to you. I'll play with the brush then, and then I'll pass to you. One card in hand. I'll play a treetop and pass. Play a forest and I'll pass. Forest. Blasto. Yep. It's yours. Hmm. Play a karmic justice, and then I'll pass to you. Okay. That's non-creature destroyed. You get reciprocity, right? Yeah. Play another treetop. Mm -hmm. Activate. Yep. And swing. Yeah, I'm going to toss. And pass to you. Hmm. Does the justice trigger fire when justice gets destroyed? Yeah. Cool. Play an enchantress. And <laughs> sloppy tapping of mana. I'll take one. Go eleven. And I'll play solitary confinement trigger. Cool. Okay. And then I'll pass to you. Alrighty. I play a forest. Yeah. Um okay. Sometimes my camera like tries to autofocus and I haven't been able to update the software yet, so it just goes like in the Yeah, mind. mine too. It's is mine okay? First? Yeah, yours, yours has been fine. Okay. Um, oh, shit. I got to do it. Naturalized Karmic Justice. Okay. I'm just going to um, kill the blast up. I can't target it. I think you need a target. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let's take a look at the Oracle text just to make sure. But I would love to be able to do that if I could. Yeah, destroy target permanent. Um, so you just have two treetops, two forests, and two swamps, right? Uh, yes. Two treetops, two forests, two swamps. All right. I guess I'll take out a treetop then. Okay. And I'll naturalize solitary. Okay. Swing. Yep, I'll go to six. And I'll pass to you. Okay, four. I cast worship trigger. Okay. I thought it was going to be replenish. <laughs> <laughs> Life would be pretty good. Um, I'll play a forest, and then I'll pass with one card in hand. OK. I'll swing. Yeah. I'll go to one.
I'll pass to you. Andra. Let's play another Brushland, and we'll pass. <laughs> okay. Last of dead. Yeah. It did. It did its work. It did. Well, I'll activate treetop and swing. Yeah. No blocks. Then... Well, I think I just go to one, right? Oh, you just go to one? Yeah, okay. I just I just stay at one. Play a wall of roots and pass. Okay. All right. Play a Sterling Grove trigger. The exploration trigger. Yep. See if we can draw our way out of this. Um, two cards in hand. I think. Let's play Sarah Sanctum and then I'll pass with one card in hand. Give me one moment. Let me think about this. Yep. Let's look through my list real quick. Let's see if I included the one of Stifle. All right, I'll go to my turn. Okay. I'll draw. Sounds good. I'll play another land. Go ahead. I guess I'll crack deed for four. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Activate your top and swing. 
Yeah, you got it. Okay. Games. Good games. I um, I was debating on what if I should if I should crack my Sterling Grove at the end of your turn to search for an enchantment, and I think the only enchantment that sounded interesting was Parallax Wave. Um, but and that that would only have helped if you didn't have another land because you were going to crack for four anyway. But my hope was that at least with Parallax Wave, I might be able to at least guarantee another draw um, if you didn't pop the deed ahead of time with Enchantress. But what about Seal? Well, I actually don't think that would have actually done anything because you could still pop the deed for you had three open mana, right? I did, yes. So I would have, I definitely would have played it in response, but yeah. Well, then you would have, you would have hit the enchantress, and so I suppose then my only out would be to draw another enchantress, which I guess maybe could have happened. Um, yeah, it could. have. And so, like, basically, I was hoping that with a natural draw, I would have a better shot of maybe drawing a replenish or something, but maybe that was wrong. I don't know. Maybe Seal was the right move. Hard deck. Yeah. I, I mean, yours is a fucking beating when, when everything is working. I was just super lucky that I had two naturalize in my starting hand. And a shit ton of discard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was that was definitely very helpful. But, um, no, I mean, like, I, I had a, a small window in which, like, the Enchantress was going, and I kind of recouped a few cards. But... Um, I don't know. This deck is kind of weird. I, I feel like I hit a lot of lands sometimes, and then other times there's not a lot of lands, but that's just like variance and magic and life in general. But um, it's definitely good games. I like the Blastoderms. I think they just like speed up the clock so fast. I feel like early on, a lot of rock builds weren't really playing Blastoderm. Yeah. And I, I was hesitant too, but it's just, it's a house. Yeah. It does suck if it gets chump blocked, you know. Yeah. Turn it's in play, but, but I mean, it's, it saves my ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thanks for the games and um, congrats. I think did you go six zero or do you still have another game to go? Yeah, yeah, I went six zero. Nice. That's definitely definitely very good. So um, hope you represent our pod well and and do well the rest of the month. <laughs> I will do my best. All right. Sounds good. Take care. Right, Enjoy thanks. the weekend. Bye. You too. Bye.